Hello, I'm Jack. Welcome to Practical Programming Channel. In this video series, you will learn everything you need to get started with Web GPU graphics programming. In the last video, I explained how to build a simple light model in Web GPU. The example code in that video was very involved. In this video, I will show you how to use this light model to add the light effect to a 3D cube. This will be much shorter and much simpler video compared to the last one. Here we will use the git tool to clone the source code used in the last video. Here is download link at the GitHub repository. From this link, you can download the source code used in the last video. Now open a command prompt window and run the following command git clone and paste this link. This will create a WebGPU 17 folder on your local machine. This folder contains all the source code used in the last video. Now we want to change the name of WebGPU 17 folder to GPU 18, GPU 18 and CD into it. At this point, we are going to start Visual Studio Code with the command code period. This is Visual Studio Code interface. Okay, we can close this work on page. Now, here contains all the source code used in the last video. Now, open a new terminal window and use npm install to restore all the npm packages used in this project. Okay, finished. Now all the install package are stored in node modules folder. In the last video, we have implemented the light model in the seeders.ts and light.ts files. In this application, we will use this light model to add the lighting effect to a 3D cube. As we discussed in the last video, in order to calculate the light model, we have to know the normal vectors at each vertex on the surface of the 3D object. Now let's add the normal vector data to the vertex data of our cube. From the SRC folder, open the vertex data.ts file. Now looking for the cube data method here, cube data. A function. Then we need to add the normal data to this function here. This is the normal data for our cube. You can see that vertices on the same face have the same normal vector. For example, the front face or vertices have the same uh, normal vector 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. And for the right face, they have 100, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, and so on. Now, after add this normal data to this function, we need to return this normal vectors. Now we can save this file and close it. Next, we will make changes to the index.html file from dist folder open this file. First, we need to change the 16 here to 18 because this is 18th video series. We also need to change the H1 title from Taurus or frame to Q with lighting. Uh, we then need to change the input parameters here input parameter. Replace this part of the code with a new code. Here, the input parameter will be used in calculating the light model. Here, you can specify the object uh, color. 
specular model, MBN, diffuse and specular light coefficients. You can also specify the surface sandiness and a specular color for the specular light computation. Now we can save this uh, file. Next, we need uh, to make some changes to the main.ts file. From the SRC folder, open main.ts file. We need to replace its content with the new code. Since most the code for render pipeline and render pass have been already included in the light.ts file, here the main.ts file becomes very simple. Here we first introduce the create shape with light function from the light.ts file. Next we introduce the light input interface from seeders.ts file. We then introduce the cube data function from the vertex data.ts file. Next we call the cube data function to get the vertex data. And then we define the default input parameter for the light model. Next, we call create shape with light to create the default uh, cube with light effect. This part of the code allows the user to recreate the cube with different lighting effect by changing the input parameters. Now we finish the modification to the main.ts file. We can then save it. Up to now, we have finished all the programming. Now we can run the following command on the terminal window. npm run prod to bundle our TypeScript code in production mode. OK, the bound file is created successfully. Now we can click the go live link from the status bar area to open the Chrome Canary to view our cube. Here is a red cube with lighting effect displayed on this page. We can make some changes to the input parameter and then click on the redraw button to recreate the cube. For example, if we set diffuse coefficient to zero and the spectral coefficient to zero and increase m being coefficient to one and click this redraw body. You can see that the cube looks flat and no 3D effect. Now let's add the diffusing light and the specular light back and change this to a small number to point to this point, point four. And then we can also change the color from red to green. And also change the specular light color from white to yellow. Then click redraw body. You can see green cube with yellow specular color. Now you can click a camera control button here and use your mouse to control the movement of this cube. And rotate, pan, and uh, change the size. And also we can change the sandiness to 100. To see more clearly, we can increase this intensity and reduce the diffuse light intensity to 0.5 with 0.8. We try to emphasize the specular light you can see here. Here we use the Berlin phone model. You can also use the phone model to change this to 1. This is a little bit smaller compared to the Berlin phone model. You can click animation to make the cube animate automatically. Now we have completed this example. In next video, I will show you how to create a sphere with lighting effect. Most examples presented in this video series are based on my recently published book, Practical Web GPU Graphics. From this link, 
drsu.net.com. You can see the details about this book. I have created a GitHub repository to host the source code used in this video series. From this link, you can download the source code used in this video series. I also created a live demo at this link. This demo shows the live results by running the example projects presented in this video series. I will end this video here. See you next time. Bye.